Last time on Resident Evil Zero. You ready, Billy? All right, you better be. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh, boy. It hit her. She got my eye! Woo! Let's get out of here! Oh, my God! All right, let's do it all over again. All righty, we're back again, finally. <laughs> I, can, uh, I can tell you that it was pretty rough trying to get back here again. The leech that we are facing off in that L-shaped hallway, if I use a Molotov on it, I think that that just kind of distracts it slash staggers it and that gives me an opportunity to get by. So if I kind of have a mess up again, you know, again, before I get any health or before I get any, before I get to a save station, I will implement that every single time. So it's not going to be as rough trying to get back to this point again. Whew, so here we go. And there's another one. Let's just let him come to us. Okay. Did I have any ammo left over? I did. Which room did we actually try? I don't actually remember. I think... I can't remember if I tried the little room, so let's go into the big room. I actually... What am I saying? I think I tried that room, and this was the room I failed in. Right? No. This is a different room. There's more ammo. Okay, so we tried this room right here. So it was that other room that had those zombies in it? I thought that was a bigger room. There's more grenades. What's this? We are out of big, thick mud for the time being. For the time being. Rebecca, you pick that shit up. All right. But again, we got to uh, we gotta make sure that we're being vigilant because we don't know what's gonna be on the on the other side of things once we leave this once we leave this area. So let's continue to uh, keep our guard up. Can I combine anymore? Uh, okay, I can't. Some kind of painting here, but it's covered with so much dust, you can't make out what it is. Can we spin the globe? Uh, too bad. A wide expanse of a lake. It's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. Wait, 
Can you move these? I don't know if you can move them, though. Wait. Wait, I, f I feel like she was doing something. Yes, you can move them. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's do something here. Or, should we play it safe? Play it safe, and let's go back and save. Let's go back to the save station. And we are going to save our game before we do anything else. I'll go alone. Roger. You're not doing that by yourself. What are you talking about? Come on. Roger. Okay. So we'll make sure we're on the same page with each other. Please, no leech. No leech. Okay. Please, no enemies. Please, no enemies. Rebecca, I'm gonna let you take it from here. Yo, Billy's like, yeah. So glad we finally got through this bullshit. <laughs> At least for the time being. Yes! It felt good to hear that sound. All right, let's go back and uh, and uh, check uh, mate. Yeah, let's go back and check mate. <laughs> okay, let's uh, take a look at this again. Honestly, I've never played chess, so if. Uh, Anybody has anything to say, be easy on me. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a glimpse of the shapes here and try to move the shapes where they're supposed to go. All right. Wait. Can I move it this way? Okay, let me make sure I'm moving the right one. Um It's going to be a little bit more difficult than Yeah, okay. Oh shit. The camera angle, man. Are we good or are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> I'm glad I saved the game! <laughs> uh. Resident Oh shit! Zero. Let's get back into the fray here. So we'll make sure not to move that one. Uh, of course, of course they put in some kind of uh, booby trap. Of course they put in some kind of booby trap. Oh, so what I'm wondering is that if this happens again, um, is there a way to? Is there a way to complete this? Like, is it? Is it over at that point? You know, what what can I do? What can I do to prevent it from happening again? <laughs> oh man. I 
I, I just want to move it. Let's get out of this room. Let's see if we can go back inside. Let's see if we can go back inside. Because, you know, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think all I need to do is just... All I need to do is just move the piece. Let's see if we're looking at the if we're looking at the board, you have your you have your far corner piece and then you have the piece next to it. All I need to do is move that piece a couple spaces up because we already moved it once and it was fine. Move it a couple spaces up and then move it over into the direction it's supposed to go in. So let's go back in and try it again if we're going to be safe. If we're going to die right here, we will accept this death. We know what to do now. Okay, it dissipated. So, good thing to know for next time. If it happens again, then we'll just run out of the room. So let's move this one. So that's a crazy thing. We were moving the correct one the entire time. All we had to do was just keep moving this one and keep moving it. I was, I don't know what I was thinking before. I was just, you know, that, that's, that's me. I, I, I sometimes do things the hard way. Watch some type of booby trap come down next time if I don't get this right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, please. Just move it. <laughs> move the damn thing! Alright. Oh, there's the book of the Eve of Evil. Okay. Okay then. I thought that that was what was laying on top of that pillar outside. That's why I was like trying some things. I don't remember if I kept that footage. I'll uh, let you guys know later when I get into post-production. <laughs> okay, it was nothing. We wasted some rounds, but we're aware that it ain't gonna do nothing. Excellent. Okay. Oh, poisoned? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Rebecca, grab that shit. I, d I don't know if uh, if that's actually slowly killing us right now. Oh, she can't carry it either. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, let's go back out. Let's go back out. That's weird. Like, will I slowly... Will I slowly die? I hope not. I hope not. We're gonna go out here to the save station, leave a couple things, and come back. Hello again. Wait, there's something more here. Marcus Diary One. Ooh, James Marcus. Inside the mind of a psychopathic scientist, but a genius scientist. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care. As long as I can continue my research into the progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's business, maybe it's because of the business, but he's become intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this into my advantage. 
I need a special facility to properly explore all the virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn, that's Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks the progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool! But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I am to properly develop progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. This just goes on and on. At last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA. Oh, mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for tyrant. October 23rd. Man, this man's got a lot in here, doesn't he? It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. Oh my god. <laughs> At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now I will finally... Oh, now I finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work here have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool! No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today, I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that was what they were after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert, Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Man! You got Marcus Diary number one. That was just Diary number one. Okay. Now, don't be surprised. I'm telling you, every single time we make a tiny bit of progress, something else ends up happening. So let's see. Okay, nothing. <laughs> All right, you know what we can do now? We have the Book of Evil. Let's give it a good look here. See if there's anything interesting about it. Obviously not. Open the book. Not yet. Let's get it facing back this direction. Ah, there we go. It seems unusually heavy for a book of its thickness. Hmm. Okay, so we have to do it like this. Fine. <laughs> huh? There we go. It's the other wing, yes. We shall take that. Black stone shaped like a wing. It looks like one pair, one of a pair. Okay. Dude, where are you going? I tell you, these guys, they just, they just got minds of their own. They got minds of their own. 
Okay, let's drop something here real quick because we need to uh, we need to pick that back up because I think we're full, right? Good and evil are brought into balance. A new path will be opened before you. Ooh, see you, James. That's nice. Do we want to explore that? Or do we want to... We want to go back into that one room where those zombies are at. I kind of want to go back in there and just take care of them. But nice that we got that uh, completed. Grenade launcher. Yep. I honestly would like to just throw down with this and because we have another six we got another six rounds we got another six rounds I think what I might do but then again you know there we are with uh, making bad choices making bad choices because I'm thinking of just uh, using these and just mowing everybody down Um, are we still poison? Okay. <laughs> okay. Back in. Not the double doors this time, but this door. So guys, uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, we've made some decent progress. I think for this part, we're gonna go ahead and cut this here, and we're gonna continue in the next one right where we left off. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare trying to get past that leech and trying to get past those zombies without those saves, but we finally got through it. It took a lot of time. <laughs> it took effort. It took the inside, the very insides of my being to get by that, but we finally got some progress. I'm happy that we'll be able to continue this um, going forward. So if you guys are appreciating the Resident Evil playthrough so far and you're having a good time watching me get my butt whooped, eaten, sliced up, burned to death, whatever you want to call it, go ahead, throw a like on the video and uh, comment and also make sure to subscribe to stay in connection with me as we continue to uh, progress in the Resident Evil universe and I will be bringing uh, more content to you guys soon. So thank you guys for coming by. We are ecstatic to say that we can continue this playthrough and I will see you guys in the next video.